Next into the tank, a charity and Phoebe with a business that's going off track. I'm Charity and I'm Phoebe. We have a business that's doing really well, but we need some help. I'm going to need bigger facilities to warehouse things. An investment from the sharks would really mean more time back in nature where we get the inspiration for what we do. Definitely feeling the nerves a little bit, but it's something that we're truly passionate about and if we can make it happen today, it would really mean the world to us. Hi Sharks, my name's Charity. And I'm Phoebe. And today we're seeking an investment of $200,000 and mentorship for a 30% share in our business, the Seek Society. We design and manufacture earth-conscious camping and outdoor wares, specialising in high-grade canvas tents. Phoebe and I first had the vision of the Seek Society not long after we met in 2013. I had been running expedition companies in the far northwest of Australia for the last 10 years, and Phoebe's an environmentalist for the government. We bonded over our love of the outdoors and adventure. We were actually really perplexed at the amount of people that are actually utilising substandard camping and outdoor wares. So, September 2016, the Seek Society was launched. And in the first eight months, we were already operating at a profit. Well done. By all indicators, uh, the sustainable camping market is on the verge of a boom. People want to get back to nature and escape the daily grind. And what better way to do that than in comfort <laughs> and style? But we need your investment to take the Seek Society to the next level and to scale and scale well. So who's going to join us on this next adventure? So, so I just want to clarify, you've come into the tank with a value of $667,000 on your business? That's correct. You're after $200,000 for 30%. Correct. So, so where did you two meet? Um, in Sydney. In Sydney? Yes. We met in 2013, ended up married last year. Oh, right, so you're actually um, life partners. Yeah. Good job. So now so we're, we're really committed. So life partners and business partners. Yes. How's that going for you? It's going really well. Um, we don't see much of each other at this stage because we work pretty much every day. G G'day Phoebe and Charity, how are you doing? Good, how are you? This is like a hipster camping company, is it? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, so take us through the numbers, can you? Yeah. What do these things cost? What do you make? You... So this tent that you're looking at right at the moment, that's our London Dairy, our four metre bell tent. The retail price on that is $8.99. Um, our landed cost here in Australia is $3.50. Okay, so what's your wholesale price then? Our wholesale price yeah. is 35% off recommended retail. <laughs> what does that mean? Come on, numbers mail. 600 bucks? $5.99. Okay. So um, the first um, nine months, I said that we were on operation, so we launched towards the end of September 2016. And we've done um, gross sales of $50,000 in that amount of time. You know, not a lot of sales yet. The numbers aren't that big. What do you think you're going to do next year? Um, so ne next year? This, this, this year? year? Well, whatever, oh. whatever, the next 12 months, whatever, next however 12 you months. want to calculate. I'm cracking under the pressure. <laughs> um, basically, um, we've got a bit of a strategy um, involving scaling the business with the canvas rooftop tents. I'd um, like to think you've got a bit of a strategy, that's good. <laughs> How many SKUs do you have? Because you've got a whole range. Um, so we have, sorry, by SKUs. How many products? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Stock keeping units. Yeah. So um, we have a range of our um, camp rugs. We have our bottle range. We have our canvas bag range that are yet to launch, our tent range and our apparel range. It's got a pretty wide business. You've got a lot of things happening. What's your number one seller? Our tents. You've got to work out your number one thing. Where at the moment you've gone so wide the rest of it's going to be noise that gets in the way of you actually winning this. Okay. Oh, there's hundreds of billions of tents out there. Yes, there's plastic ones, but there's also uh, material ones as well. So why is yours different? 
It isn't just any tent. Um, it's a canvas tent. But there's canvas tents out there. There are, but not ones that basically look as beautiful and are as comfy and spacious. OK, tell me exactly how it's different then. We've refined the design for Australian outdoor conditions. OK, but there's nothing... So far, it's not different, though. There's products out there that do all of those things, so why is yours different? Um, can you help me out, Thieves? I don't know. Charity and Phoebe sell quality camping equipment. If only their answers were as simple and robust as their tents. OK, tell me exactly how it's different then. Can you help me out, Phoebes? I don't know. Can we do other things too. Can I yeah. touch on something you said before? Can we, sorry, I just want to... Yeah, I want them to answer this. So think about your product, right? Yeah. Why would, as a consumer, you've gone into a store, why would you buy yours? OK, so what, what we've seen um, is a massive uptake of our tent from people that love to take photos of their adventures whilst they're travellers. So obviously they are super beneficial when you your love of photography and the outdoors is kind of front and centre as well. Is, is it warmer or cooler or...? I notice there's like a little chimney thing on top, maybe, is that what it is? Yes, there's little air vents at the top, yeah. so when the hot air rises, it does come out. Why don't yeah. you talk about that? Because that's an actual feature you can put your finger on, not people like, put, like, like to post it on Instagram. We've got a um, patent that I'm working on at the moment for a first-to-market product in the camping and outdoor space. You are going to add another product to this company despite the fact you've got no real traction with your first product. I think you've, you've got to stick to something that works. Yeah. If, if, if your solution to make your company work is to add more products, um, then that's bad. And I really just do think you are hipster for camping. I, I don't know what other value you bring because you haven't sold me on the value of this tent. You know what you should have come out of? You should have come out, look, G'day, well, I'm Charity and Phoebe. We're here from the, the, the Seek Society. We're about to change the way people camp by using these beautiful, environmentally friendly, weather-resistant, long-lasting things, blah, 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 because we think there's too much plastic in the environment. In the next five years, we're going to be 12% of the market or something like that. We, we haven't heard that, right? And we're having to actually no. dig this out of you. So okay. I love your tent. Yeah. I'm going to declare my interest. I think you know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm out. All the best. Thanks for your time. So look, quite simply, um, you know, I love your high quality, sustainable, eco-friendly product, but I don't like your numbers, so I'm out. OK. Thank, Thank you. you. Charity and Phoebe, I would have liked to hear the difference it's making to the planet. If your purpose is planet, sell it to me. Yeah. I'm out. OK, thank, thank you. you. You've been given some good advice. I wish you luck, um, but it's too early for me. I'm out. The logo's great. I think you've done a really good job on the logo and the branding. You know, your Instagram and your, your social media, you really, you really got all that nailed. Uh, today, however, you didn't convince me on the uniqueness of the product or the uniqueness of the business. Good luck, but I'm out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for your time. Take care. See, See ya. you. Yeah. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> I love the tent, actually. I love the tent a lot. I think the nerves just really got the better of me yeah. to a certain extent. And they are a little bit intimidating. <laughs> so intimidating. We can't relax people, so... <laughs>